Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tiffy and today I wanted to do some Thanksgiving DIYs to spruce up your Thanksgiving decor. I got a lot of requests to not skip Thanksgiving, so here's one video dedicated to you, Thanksgiving. So today I'm gonna show you how to do three Thanksgiving DIY inspired decor. So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to make is a wreath. This isn't really so much Thanksgiving related, it's just fall colors. So you're going to need some thread, fall colors, so oranges, yellows, greens, and browns. And you're also gonna need this styrofoam ring. So what we're gonna do is we are going to create some pom-poms out of the thread. And the way that I'm doing this is with a fork. It's pretty simple. You can do this with using your fingers if you want larger pom-poms, but just wrap around the thread. So next you're gonna grab another piece of string and you're going to tie this around the center of the pom-pom, but make sure that you use excess string for this because we're going to use this string to help attach the pom-pom to the wreath. So you wanna leave more string so you can tie it off onto the wreath. Once you have it wrapped nice and tightly around the center, you're then gonna grab a very sharp pair of scissors and cut off the edges of the pom-pom. So then you should have something that looks like this. It probably won't look even, so go ahead and give it a trim and then you have a little pom-pom. We're gonna be making various sizes of this, so you can't use a fork for everything. If you like, you can use a piece of cardboard paper. This is about three inches long, and this is gonna help with the larger pom-poms. So now that all of your pom-poms are ready, what we're gonna do is wrap this ring with some thread. So I'm choosing yellow thread. You can choose any color you like. I would suggest uh, taking it off of the actual roll and rolling up a smaller ball. This process can be pretty tedious, but just go in knowing that you're gonna need to be patient with it. You might even do it faster if someone helps you. So this is what it looks like completely wrapped. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it in a knot at the end. If you like, you can add a dollop of glue right here to make sure that it doesn't come unraveled. So now, once that's completely wrapped, you're just gonna grab your pom-poms and now that you have that excess string hanging off, you're gonna use this to wrap it around the wreath and tie it in a knot. So continue wrapping the pom-poms around the wreath and make sure to place them in various spaces, spread out the colors so it looks nice together and place them along the sides on the inside and the outside of the wreath so that it looks nice and full. So I'm not gonna wrap the whole wreath, I'm only adding this on a corner of the wreath because that would be a lot of pom-poms to make but you get the idea, this is how it turned out, and I think this is just such a cute way to add fall to your decor. Once you have all of the pom-poms tied, then you're going to turn the wreath around and just cut off the excess string so it's not hanging and you can't see it as it's hanging on your door or wall. Now the last thing to do is just attach another piece of string to the top portion of the wreath so that you can hang it wherever you like. So for the next DIY, we are going to beautify some pumpkins. We're using fake pumpkins, and these are the tiny, tiny pumpkins. They're so adorable. We found these on sale since Halloween is over. Uh, these are on sale and they were 50 cents each. Doesn't matter if they're kind of messed up looking because we're going to beautify them and give them new life. So I'm sure you can find some on discount, but once you have your pumpkins, we're also gonna be using some spray paint. This is a gold metallic spray paint and it looks beautiful. I also have these leaves and flowers that are fall colored and we're also gonna be using gold glitter and red glitter. Glitter is always, of course, optional. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to spray paint our pumpkins. So I'm taking these outside in a well-ventilated area and spray painting them and letting them dry completely. So once they are completely dry, then we're just gonna add some decoration on. So I am going to be using some glitter glue and since this pumpkin had polka dots on it already, I'm just gonna add the glue onto where the polka dots were and just make those gold glitter polka dots instead of black. 
So then I'm gonna grab a fall wreath and you can use flowers for this. I am going to just cut off some of the leaves and some of the little berries and we're just gonna glue these on top of the pumpkin. So I'm using E6000 glue to glue this on top of the pumpkin. And if your pumpkin is damaged, this will definitely help with hiding all of the faults that your pumpkin has. So these ones are pretty simple. It's just beautifying the pumpkins and these actually make really cute accents for your table as you're eating Thanksgiving dinner. So for the very last DIY, we're gonna make a fall flower display and we're gonna be using a pumpkin. Who could have thought? So I actually had this pumpkin left over from Halloween and what we're going to do is we are just going to carve the top of the pumpkin out and you're gonna make sure to carve it bigger than you normally would if you're carving a pumpkin because we're gonna put some flowers in here. So we're gonna need to put like a vase inside. So make sure the hole is big enough for your hands and stuff to fit into. And then we're just gonna remove all of the insides of the pumpkin. So once that's done, I am grabbing a plastic container and I'm gonna fill it with water and place it inside of the pumpkin. And I went ahead and got a bouquet of fall colored flowers. Just oranges, pinks, reds. If you like, you could use fake flowers for these so that they can last longer. Mine have already died, actually. They didn't make it to Thanksgiving. So now all that's left to do is just arrange the flowers inside of the pumpkin. You wanna have a lot of the leaves kind of as fillers. When you're adding the flowers, try to think of it as a sphere and make the flowers look like they are coming out of the pumpkin. You don't wanna see the stems, so you just really have to play with the arrangement and the way that you cut the flowers. So once you're happy with the arrangement, this can be used as a centerpiece, again, for your Thanksgiving dinner. Here are all of the DIYs put together. I think they turned out really amazing. Poor Thanksgiving always gets forgotten. Christmas always comes along and steals its decoration, but I wanted to show some love to fall and do some quick little DIYs for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you do create these, let me see your creations by using the hashtag CreateCQ. I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.